the exercise problem given here is related to the example 4.3. In this example, the voltage VD is applied to the gate of another transistor. Assuming the Q2 is identical to the Q1, we need to find the drain current and drain voltage of the Q2 transistor. The channel length modulation effect is zero. The circuit given is as follows. From the example 4.3, we found that Q1 is in saturation region of operation. The voltage VD of the Q1, which is 1 volt, also applied to the gate of the Q2 transistor. Therefore, VG of the Q2 equals 1 volt. This implies VGS of Q2 is also 1 volt since source voltage of the Q2 is at 0 volt. The source voltage of Q2 is at 0 volt. Also, VGS of Q2 is also equal to VGS of Q1 since both transistors are identical. Therefore, VGS of Q1 equals VGS of Q2. As per given data, Q2 is identical to Q1. Therefore, the process transconductance parameter mu n COX, threshold voltage and W bell of both transistors are same. This implies that the drain current of Q2 transistor is identical to the drain current of Q1 transistor that is 80 microampere from the example 4.3. Now to determine the value of new drain voltage, we can apply KVL to the portion of circuit of Q2 using of the Q2 transistor. Applying KVL, we get minus VDD plus ID times R2 plus V dash D equals to 0. On simplification, we obtain VD dash equals VDD minus ID R2. Substituting the values of VDD, ID and R2, we get V dash D as 1.4 volt. Now let us cross check whether Q2 is in saturation or not. V dash D which is also equals VD of Q2 equals 1.4 volt. VG of Q2 equals 1 volt. This implies VGD of Q2 is VG minus VD which is 1 minus 1.4 equals minus 0.4 volt. VGD of Q2 transistor is minus 0.4 volt. But the threshold voltage of the Q2 transistor is 0 0.6 volt from the example 4.3. That is, threshold voltage of Q1 is also equal to threshold voltage of the Q2 transistor that is 0 0.6 volt. Therefore, VGD of Q2 transistor is less than the threshold voltage of the Q2 transistor and hence the Q2 operates in saturation region.